Hello YouTubers, thanks for checking out another video from How To Webmaster. Today, I'm going to show you guys how I got my fan page stolen. Here is my fan page, 164,000 likes, almost 160,000 follows. It is quite embarrassing, but it did happen, and at least now I'm going to show you guys how to avoid it, because honestly it was so easy to steal this page so here's how it works so if you have a big fan page you're gonna get a lot of emails or messages from a bunch of scammers so here I got one from uh, this person Kate Crowley I'm interested in renting your page um, submit they're gonna send me two articles a day to post on my page and they're gonna pay five thousand a week of course uh, it's too good to be true I knew it was a scam because there's more than one person uh, that's offering me this great awesome deal and so I knew it was a scam but I still wanted to find out how it works and of course I'm, I'm never gonna add them as an admin or send them any money so here's a conversation that I had with this person Haley Taylor and you can see a common theme here everybody is a beautiful girl trying to contact you and all their profiles are uh, they they don't have a lot of friends and uh, it, it pretty much just uh, made up as a, for scamming people I thought to myself I'm pretty well experienced I can't get scammed this easily but it happened I'm not really too upset about it because uh, my fan page is not my bread and butter but still, I'm uh, upset that it was so easy to steal and that Facebook can allow or and you really can't do anything about it with Facebook. Impossible to contact them and get help. And that's what I'm most upset about. Okay, so the conversation started with the same thing as all the others. They want to rent on my page, send a couple articles and pay me a huge amount of money per week. And then I asked how to get started and they want to add me as friend all of them had that same thing they all want to add me as a friend to easily communicate well I think this is so that they can once you're added as a friend they can easily uh, communicate with you with multiple channels and maybe also it could be a risk because since they're your friends and if they try to if, if Facebook intervene for some reason and they see that uh, you guys uh, I'm friends with this person and um, they're running my fan page it's more legitimate as well so, so I didn't add him this person as a friend but then uh, she or he suggested we can still continue here and then which payment suits of course uh, I just say PayPal and then they try to make it more legitimate uh, how many articles that I can post a day I'm like one one or two is fine and then they try to make it again more legitimate um, pay up front sounds good so I give them my PayPal email and when and then they ask when to start I say now and then here's where the scam starts is your page approved through articles so articles is something uh, this is from Facebook it's a way for publisher to create fast articles and then you can monetize it so I'm thinking okay articles it sounds pretty interesting because I've heard it before from Facebook here it is so okay looks legit and then they say they need a um, Facebook will be inviting you to join instant articles uh, okay again um, instant articles is legit right here and it needs to be approved and so they need to send the request for instant articles to my email and so I have to confirm it so here's the email from Facebook so Facebook business manager and here's the email It's from Facebook to my email click here and the link is to Facebook so it's not like a phishing scam either so I thought so far okay um, it's from Facebook business manager is the link from Facebook I'm not gonna give them any access so 
to uh, my admin to admin my pages I'm not gonna pay them anything so what harm can this do Sends everything from Facebook so I click on the link and I've already accepted the request so that's why it showed me this but anyways here it is it's from Facebook businessfacebook.com so it's legitimately from Facebook and access to instant articles okay so that's where the scam is right there instant articles so it makes you think that it's from this right here instant articles but it's actually not instant articles is the guy or the scammers name of his business page and once you click that link to accept the invite to his business page so, so he becomes the business owner and you're the employee of instant articles so the instant articles is not by Facebook but the scammer named his business page instant articles and now you're an employee of it and I can't so show you the business page right now because he already took over and kicked me out so let's go back to the chat so I uh, accepted the request since again it all looks um, from business manager from Facebook I mean I, he, I don't think he's stolen my page yet so where's the scam at so I'm still trying to find out at this point so then he said go add page add what am I add my page so it was in business manager and so far when I was adding my page I'm like I was thinking I haven't given him access um, and I thought it was instant articles so business manager I thought this was legitimately for instant articles right here so I didn't suspect that instant articles was a made up page it, it everything looks very legitimate and again I I never once thought that I gave him access to my page I added my fan page to the business manager it was that easy once you add your page to the business manager and that's the scam it's over and then they kicked me out because they're the owner of the business and once I click on that link to confirm my invitation I became the employee and that's where Facebook is really dumb because after I added my fan page I can't remove it anymore why wouldn't they allow the guy that added the fan page to remove the fan page and himself from the business you're locked out pretty much because you're the employee of the business manager which is instant articles the scammer and now you're stuck can't leave can't remove your page and that uh, it's over that's how easy it was so now let me show you my uh, settings so here's my fan page and here's the page row and now this new thing popped up right here so I was an admin so I had several admins down here and I'm still one of it somehow he hasn't kicked me out but he's kicked out the others and I'm pretty sure he's gonna kick this one out too and even though I'm the admin still right here the page owner is instant articles the scammer and this this popped up ever since I accepted the business invitation and added my page so again I was never aware of such a thing can happening it was so easy I'm still the admin but I can't do anything I can't remove this guy and he has all the control he posts whatever he wants he kick whoever he wants out so I'm pretty much I'm um, gonna lose this page try to contact Facebook and it's pretty much impossible so here's what I've, been, I've done so far so here's one of the things I've tried facebook.com and then hacked slash hacked here and then I selected someone else got to my account without my permission and then it just tells you to change your password and maybe add in the uh, the two-factor authentication so that was useless and there's still no way to contact them with this step so let's try another so here is help center from Facebook and here's the perfect 
fix the problem. I think my page was hacked or taken over by someone else. So I thought that could be useful. And here's what they suggested. So my page is taken over by someone else and they're telling me to the best you the best thing to do is contact the page admin and ask them to add you back. Okay, so the scammer took over my page and now I'm just gonna ask him to give me my page back. How dumb is this? This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen right here. I, I can't believe they even suggested such a thing. <laughs> and then they suggest um may have been hacked and then the usual change the password, secure it. So useless so far. And then down here, file report. Okay, that sounds good. So let's try that. And here is the file a report page. And as you can see, he already kicked me out. And I'm no longer eligible for the pages. So I can't even. So I'm supposed to select something here. So let's click send. And you can see I need to fill out the missing information which is my pages but I'm no longer able to access them so useless um, so that uh, so I need to find a way to reach Facebook somehow and there's like no other way to contact them I couldn't get actual help from the Facebook help center so I decided to merge a couple of my pages together so I can pretty much shut down this page combine my uh, followers to another page and then remove this page where it has been stolen and I'm not even sure if that's a good idea or not but at this point it doesn't matter anymore it's either gonna get stolen anyways so so I decided to do the merge and Facebook had a temporary uh, blocked on my page and then this appeared right here appeal and apparently I'm no longer an admin so I can't appeal but when I was still an admin when I appealed within an hour of my page being stolen I was able to write a message to Facebook so I stated my case uh, it's been stolen and that's why I was trying to merge so that was one way to reach actually reach Facebook and another thing I tried was to report the page so I send a feedback right here so I want to report an issue with the page right here and pretty much stated my case the uh, page was stolen uh, please help and give them all the facts the screenshot and so that's another way so two ways I've tried to actually reach out to them so I now I'm just waiting for the replies so again Facebook made it very very difficult to reach out to them and here was another incident where another guy with a page about a hundred thousand likes and followers and he went through the same thing as I did um, he got scammed by the some scammer trying to rent out his page and they did it through the Facebook manager right here and of course he mentioned a very stupid mistake and he was like me he was pretty careful too uh, making sure he doesn't add them as an admin or send any money and then he has the same problem like I did search all day to find a way to report to Facebook and again, again he had the same problem so difficult to email to Facebook so in the end this guy lost his page and he's starting over from scratch here was his original page it is no longer available so again I'm not terribly upset I played with fire and I got burned so easy to get it stolen so lesson learned get folks don't play with fire I hope this video helps. Uh, please comment, share, like, and spread the word.